Oh, 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 oh. There you go, son. You got him. You got him. All right, we got another score up, man. You guys are slacking. Now we cook it. You guys ready? Let's do this. What's up, Whiskey Hollix? I'm back. I'm out here today with the family. I got my stepdad with me. He's over here on the rocks baiting up. Got the rest of my family over there on the beach getting ready to do some swimming. Uh, we're after some spot flounder and hopefully some croakers. We'll see. Uh, this is kind of like a spur of the moment thing. We're just kind of winging it. I got some. Hold on. Let me get it all out. I still got it all put up. We just literally got here. You guys know this stuff. We got fish bites. This one here is blood worm. Nope, this is the shrimp one. I also have the blood worm. So hopefully we'll get it done. Everywhere we stopped this morning for bait, they're all out of blood worms. So. But I do know the spot and croakers are running. I was here last night fishing. My buddy Adam caught a uh, nice flounder, and I watched a bunch of guys catch the spot and croaker all up and all on this point out here on the jetty in Roosevelt Inlet. So stick with us. Hopefully, we can get it done. Get this. I'll get this. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Wherever you want to go, just whatever rock. That rock looks pretty good. What one? That one right there? The settle, maybe. Yeah, maybe. I'm a little bit closer. <laughs> What's under here? Uh, nothing. Rocks. More rocks. Okay. I mean, it's not like I'm going to fall in water. No, but you'll fall and probably break your neck. You still got it in you. Step down on that one and you can sit right there. Like I said, you want to step on that one and you can just sit right where you're at, wherever you're standing. Okay, I'm going to step on this one. There you go. Nope, that one's too far apart. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> you made it. Feel better, sir? <laughs> Alright, I'll get you some bait in a minute. Bye. Just sit there. I want to try this shrimp. All it is is bubble gum. <laughs> it's called fish bites. It's scented. It melts over time. Now I'm going to go put two little pieces on there, but it melts over time. So I'm just going to cut a piece. This stuff lasts forever. It looks like old bubble gum, doesn't it? Like a uh, fruit by the foot type yeah. stuff. There you go. Did a lot better for the first cast. I thought it was going to be a little worse because <laughs> it's been a long time. <laughs> When you go to reel in here, you gotta lift up high and you gotta reel it fast. You gotta reel fast. Just like fishing at uh C and D canal. Yeah. You gotta cast out there. 
All right, I'm gonna go down here and give it a shot. Right past Rob. You said you said the end up fast. Yeah. Rod up and real fast. Give it a pull, and then there you go. Now real fast. Because the rocks are out there. You're just trying to get it up. There you go. There you go. You're good. You're good. You just want to get it up over those rocks. Croaker. 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 I come down here just in time to see one. Yeah, here, go sit down. Oh. I, think, I think they got to be eight inches, I'm not sure. Eight inches? I think so. <laughs> I'm looking to see if they got it on here. White perch is on here. That's what I think. Oh, there it is, Croaker, yeah. Right at eight inches. Who's cool way down there, so I don't know if I'm going to go get it. Sit back and get it. Oh, my God. That was on the shrimp. That's what my mom's got too. Oh yeah, nine inches. Nine and a half. All right. Woo! Look at that. I was curious on how it was lasting. It's actually doing pretty good and smells good too. Well, I got to make sure it's uh, it's the right one. Oh, that guy just broke his rod. Oh, that sucks. Time. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. How do you get this off? They got teeth. Now. So what you do? Just grab it. Oh my God! It's making noises. Here. <laughs> Thank you. I touched it. And it was like oh. barking. Come get it all. Oh, there you go. I didn't want to drop it. There we go. Oh, he's pooping. What's it doing? Oh, it's pooping. All right, that's one down. Now let's check yours real quick. I bring it here is how you do it and I'll hook you up. As soon as they bite it. I'll say with these fish bite, they about feel like they're gonna rip it out of your hand. Yeah, that's what yep. I was gonna say they hit hard. We both were like, ooh! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna rig this up. Grab me uh one of the metal pieces out of there, you'll see it. No, I ain't bring a whole lot of rigs. I only bought four of them, and I didn't bring uh, my old ones. I did have a bunch of old ones at the house hanging up in the shed. All right, hold the pole. Give me the metal thing. Uh, grab the other pack of hooks that's open. There's a pack in there that's open already. Yeah, one croaker so far. All right, guys, let me give you a little rundown what we're running here. Got a double rig. It's all tangled up already. Top and bottom rig down to a one ounce. The other two rods here have two ounce on. And we're running these little fish bites. This is what my son's going to be running now. Mac the Slab Master. Doesn't live up to his name because he don't fish. All right, come on over here on the other side of mom, and we'll cash you out. You wanna come over here and sit on one of these rocks? Matter of fact, the rock I'm standing on is probably a good one to sit on. Oh, sorry. Go right there. For that here. Go ahead and tighten it up a little. Your line. That's good. A little more. All right, you're ready, to rock. 
from this one. He missed him by now. I don't know, you'll feel it when it pulls hard, you'll know. Got him? You got him? Oh, that's about it. He got her. Uh-uh, uh, you gonna make it? <laughs> the weight balance me out. <laughs> All right, go ahead. All right, now I ain't got a cast, so I was gonna let you sit down. I gotta find you a better rock to get on. Okay. All right, we gotta fill this cooler up, man. You guys are slacking. Got him. Real, 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 real. Real. Oh my God, I keep reeling. Keep reeling. No, you did lose him. <laughs> Huh? Well, I wanted to be down there right exactly where this guy's at that broke his pole, but I didn't think anybody would be here. There normally isn't too many people right here this early. That's why another reason why I wanted to come early. You come down here in the evenings and it's elbows and assholes. I'm going to put a heavier weight on. He's not holding the bottom too well. How you making out, buddy? Not good? You look comfortable though. Looks like you found a good spot to sit in. <laughs> I'm helping you guys and just having fun watching you guys. I ain't always got a fish. To me, it's just being out here. That's what I enjoy. What are you pulling to? Nothing. Your line was slack. Waves are hitting you. He's getting ready to pull. Tighten it up. See that loop in your line? There you go. Leave it like that. Oh, oh, yeah, you had him, man. You had him. There you go, son. You got him. You got him. Oh, man. There he is. I see him. <laughs> nice, dude. <laughs> That's a croaker. That's a croaker. Let me see. Bring it over here. <laughs> Caught your first fish today, man. We we'll have to measure it. I think he's a little small. Ah, I hope not. Maybe he's big enough to put in the bucket. Hear him going? Yeah. Thought you farted. Don't sound like he's farting. That's so weird. <laughs> what did? Her bites. It's just uh, now up. Uh, like a button pushing. Now oh. seven and a half. Or seven and a half. So here, you want to throw it back? Here, give me five first. Good job, dude. Do I throw it back? In the water? No, I'm not. I'm not. How do I hold it? Just, just hold your hand out and grab him. Grab him tight. Grab him tight. Ah, ah, ah. You got him. Hey, give him a kiss. He ain't giving him no kiss. There he goes. Back to the free. Go ahead and hold your pole, and I'll grab you some new bait. Put on that hook. Got him. Got him! Get over there! Tangled. She's tangled up in the rocks. Grab the pole, Tom. Got, got down into the rocks. Don't step on them green ones. There he is. That looks like a keeper too. 
treasure there. Oh yeah, almost nine and a half, nine and three quarters. Somebody threw the damn tape right in the way. Sorry. Right. Tried to close the cooler. Went to the back. There we go. Here in a minute, I'll show you guys exactly what uh, how we're running this. Got another one? Ah. Oh. Get back over here and sit down. Ah. Oh. There we go. All right. So we're down here at Roosevelt Inlet. Got a two ounce sinker. Uh, I don't remember the size hooks. I'll tell you guys here in a little bit what size they were that we grabbed. But everything I bought, these were 75 cents. This is a top and bottom rig. They're 75 cents a piece at Rick's Bait and Tackle. The hooks, pack of hooks, I think you got six of them in a pack, which were 75 cents. And the weights, I don't remember how much they cost, but the weights are probably pricier than anything. Then we're running these fish bites, which this is uh, shrimp flavored. And I have bloodworm flavored too, but it seems like they're really liking the shrimp today. And if you see, I've seen in the cooler, we've got quite a few of them. Get him? You ain't getting nothing. Look at that little dinky, little dinky. Measure it. I don't know, he looks close. He got something. Ah. Oh. What do you do, take your minnow? Got one? Reel it. Oh, big old sea bass. <laughs> Took both hooks, huh? There he is. That's way out there, dude. Yeah, Ooh, I'm about to give him a measure. He looks close, though. Croaking away. There we go. That's what we came for. I apologize for all the wind. My mic's not working, so. Uh-oh, mom's got one. There you go, it's bending that rod. Oh, another one for the bucket. Nine, woo. It's up to you guys. Yeah, I'm ready to go whenever you guys are. Get one or two more and I'm ready. What's up, Whiskey Holics? We made it back to the house. It was a rough day. Uh, we did catch some fish. Hopefully you guys get a chance to see this video. Uh, my GoPro actually took a shit on me, so. But let me show you what we got. We did pull out a couple croakers. I'm gonna lay a few up here on the table for you guys. It's the big one that the wife caught. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I clean. What we're gonna do, actually, I'm not even, I'm gonna take the, actually, I might leave the heads on. I'm gonna leave the heads on. I'm just gonna gut them. I'm gonna scale them. And we're gonna throw them on the grill hole and see what happens. I'm gonna show you how I uh, 
how I'm going to do this. Just come up here, you see? Just watch me. Now what I'm gonna do is just cut it right here. Open her up, and there's everything. All the goodies. That was a female. That's a row sax. Bag, one of my horseshoes. I hold the bag there, the wind's blowing this way, so. All right, so that's one of them. I'm gonna actually scale it here in a minute. I'm gonna do one more for you guys so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm inserting right in the hole, their little booty hole, running that knife on up, right between both fins, trying not to cut myself. There we go. And then slicing right underneath their gill and on down. And that helps open it right up. See? Mm -hmm. The yellow's their lungs, right? No, this is all row. That's These row? are that's all little babies. Oh, could fry that up, huh? Ew, no. <laughs> Just grab her on out. There we go. So from here, I'm going to finish cleaning them up. We've got we've got two, four, six, eight of them. So we're good. We're going to actually eat pretty decent tonight. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to finish cleaning these up, and we're going to take everything over to the grill. cooking you guys ready let's do this all right so what i'm gonna do here i got this little concoction that i put together i've got thyme and rosemary in here crushed and some uh oh chopped garlic minced garlic and i'm gonna coat the fish with that and it's a uh, olive oil so forgot to say that it's olive oil i got on there all right so what i'm gonna do is kind of base the fish with this olive oil concoction i got going on layer on there I'm just gonna keep rinsing and repeating this I actually put a little slit in them kind of get this stuff down into the meat all the seasoning and stuff they call that scoring the fish I think so I'm not sure mm, oh my god I ain't no chef and he expects us to eat this fish oh it's gonna be good I hope yeah Chris put some on the inside so what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep basting this fish after I got it on the grill with this olive oil. Never done this before. I've seen it done. It's the biggest one, isn't it? Uh, yeah, this is the one you caught. This will be yours. Well, get some on the inside then. That one's mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got some on the inside. So I'm going to salt and pepper them too, and I'll salt and pepper the inside also. Open up some of that salt and pepper. You're on fire. So I don't know if I told you guys or not. Yesterday I was out filming and my GoPro literally took a shit. So this this here might be my last video. Today we filmed on my phone. And actually, if you're watching the video, you go back and you'll see my shadow on the rocks. You can see this big concoction I had on my head. But we got it done. And if you're seeing this, I definitely got it done. So, honestly, I don't know where I'm going to be in a couple more weeks. We got my other, my actual GoPro going off to GoPro to get fixed. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little depressed about it. So, But hopefully we'll be back on the water and hopefully I'll do more of these catch and cooks. This one here is turning out to be a nightmare. The fish is falling apart. So right now we're gonna run in the house, shove it in the oven. That way you guys can see us at least taste this fish. All right, so stick with us.
We actually finally got the fish done. We put it in the oven because the grill just turned out to be just a mess, honestly. But here, check out this fish real quick. It actually turned out pretty good. All this damage, all the skin that was stuck to the grill. So, but what little bit we saved. Here, let me put my glass down. Look how flaky that is. Oh my God, I'm gonna try it right now. Check that out. Oh, that's really good. That's some good stuff. So, it's time for you to try it. Here, let me get that camera. Give me that. Mmm, that is good. That's really, truly, that is just like truly good. Go ahead and give it a bite. Oh, that was fast bite. Oh, yeah, I was really glad. See? Mmm, <laughs> that thyme, that oregano. Mm. I didn't put much on it. I just tried to keep it as natural as possible. Looks like going back for a second one. Good gravy. <laughs> good gravy, good meat. <laughs> good. All right, here. <laughs> so, so guys, I really appreciate you guys watching this. Uh, hopefully, we're back here soon in a couple more weeks. I really got to wait for my camera to come back. I'm not going to run around with a phone on top of my head because for one it just I'm having trouble putting it on my computer so we'll see hopefully I'm back in a couple weeks if not you guys just keep it whiskey as long as you can Thank you.